What's going on guys? You have been requesting this and impatiently waiting for what's in my gear bag version 5. I did the first one about six years ago, uh, April 1st of 2015, so it's time to finally do a new one. But uh, this is the same exact gear bag I've had since that video. I think it's time for a replacement. So Alpine Stars hooked me up with this Komodo travel bag. So I have it set up just like I would for any day going to the track. So I'm going to show you guys what's in my gear bag when I go to the track and then we'll get to the rest of my gear. So we're just going to start with the main pocket here. Open it up. First thing we've got of course is our Alpine Stars SM8 helmet. So that's the brain bucket that's protecting us here. Just going to kind of set things down as I go. Got the helmet. I absolutely love this thing. Of course I got the really cool GoPro mount from Jeff Walker on there, but super light. I like this a lot. I was going to get an SM5, but they're currently out of stock. So I was going to get one that match a bit better, but this is my current one and uh, this thing is super sick. Moving down, of course, you guys know I broke my wrist uh, twice now. So I wear the wrist braces. I keep those in here. I just jam them into the face of my helmet here. Then I always run a bunch of different gloves. I always like having different gloves. So I have the Alpine Stars ones that came with my red gear. So I like those ones, they're cozy. I have my Polar H10 chest strap so that I can get my heart rate data to my watch and also my Lit Pro, so I keep that in there. And then I like to keep my 100% brisker gloves. These are just some cold weather gloves. So especially I'm recording this March 4th here, pretty cold here in Colorado. So I keep these in the bag in case it gets windy or gets chilly. I have a little bit warmer gloves. Moving right along, we have my Atlas brace. Running the black one here, looks good. Looks good with any, any gear you're running. Got my socks, so just some Alpine Stars socks, of course. Then above the socks, I run the Mobius knee braces. I think it's like the X8 or something like that. I don't even know, but yeah, the Mobius knee braces. I really like those. Um, I tore my ACL when I wasn't wearing knee braces and I was wearing another brand for a while and I switched to these and I like them a lot more. So very happy with the Mobiuses. Got my Alpine Stars A1 Plus chest protector. So front and rear, just uh, some added protection of course from roost but then also taking a bar to the chest or flat landing on your back or something like this. I really like this thing. I run it um, over an undershirt and then under the jersey and don't even notice it when I have it on. I notice it when I'm not getting roost in the chest, but uh, um, super lightweight, super slim. I really like this thing. All right, and then we have the Alpine Stars gear. So just got some new gear here. Really, really stoked on it. Allison said she likes it because it has kind of my red, white, and black, which uh, is probably my favorite colors. And then of course the splash of the like flow yellow on there that also matches the gear bag. So I've got the jersey and got the pants, of course. Really hyped on that gear. Gonna be wearing it this weekend and uh, get it printed here soon. I men mentioned an undershirt. I always wear just some basic gym shirt. This is just a really soft, really cozy, um, not really under armor, but sort of like that material. It was just something I found at Target, I think, but uh, I run that underneath the chest protector and then run the jersey over that. So that's all the main gear here. And then in this pocket right here, I just keep some spare stuff. So zip, unzip this here. So I have some extra socks. I have forgotten socks before at the track and that was a huge bummer. So I'm gonna keep some extra socks in there. And then I keep some extra gloves. These are some Novik cold weather gloves and then some Novik that's even cooler gloves. Just uh, in case I fall and get a glove muddy and I don't wanna wear it for the rest of the day, I keep some gloves that I enjoy here just as backup. I also have these 100% ones that are just some thinner ones, not like the thicker, brisker ones. Just again, gloves that I enjoy wearing that will match pretty much anything. And uh, just in case something happens with my main gloves that match the gear, I have some backups in here. Just put all that away so we could do this a little easier. And of course, the final piece in here, more Alpine Star stuff. We have the new Tech 10s that I got, so both of those just in here, but really hyped on these boots. They are super pretty. Not too dissimilar from some of my other limited editions, but absolutely love them, so they just fit in to the end of the gear back here. 
And then the final piece of my goggle bag, it doesn't fit into my gear bag, so I just take this separately, but I have all my goggles in here. So what I currently have in here, let's see, some Oakley's, nope, that's a bag wrong. <laughs> so I have these Scott Furies. I have the Scott Prospects, which I probably wear more than anything else. Let's see. Some Scots in a red, white, and blue with a blue lens. This one has the light sensitive lens that changes when you get into the sunlight. Here are some Oakleys. So some black on black air brakes with the prism lens. Really, really like those. They're super nice. And then some more Oakleys. These are the Jeffrey Hurlings edition. So pretty crazy like graffiti looking goggle again with a prism lens. Uh, another really, really nice premium goggle. So I got all those goggles in there. That way, if, I, if I'm going to a race, I could do like practice, Moto 1, race 1, Moto 2, race 2, Moto 2, race 1, Moto 2, race 2, or whatever. And then of course I have spare lenses. I have tear-offs for both the uh, Prospects and the Furies, as well as the air brakes, more lenses and a bunch more lenses. So keep the goggle bag packed and ready to go um, under any circumstance. So I always have some fresh vision. All right, so that's all the goggles. And that is between the goggle bag and the travel bag. That's exactly what I take to the track for a normal day of riding. But of course you guys know I have way more gear than that. So let's move over here and see this, all this stuff. Before we move on to the actual jersey and pants, this is all the other kind of stuff I have. So one thing you'll see up front here is a lot of different gloves. I even have some gloves I haven't even worn yet. Some of these gloves go to certain gear sets. Obviously this is the TLD Honda stuff, my uh, Thor uh, floral stuff. So some of this is like just for one specific gear set, but a lot of it is just stuff I can wear with anything. So these inverted ones, um, all these Moto Loco ones I have here, you guys saw, I just got a huge shipment of Moto Loco, so I have a lot of that. These fly ones go with my fly gear, and then these inverted cloud ones are uh, ones I can wear with anything. So a lot of different options, and I'll just run those depending on what gear I'm wearing for the weekend. You know, if I'm wearing my black and red 7, then I'll probably grab some gloves like this. If I'm wearing um, my shift camo stuff, I grab something like this. So it's really just dependent on what gear I, I'm wearing, which gloves I'm gonna throw in the bag. Then of course, I also have more socks. So these are the Moto Loco ones. These are some 100% and stance ones. So they're just the really, really long ones. So just a few different uh, socks. I don't know, especially if I ride like Saturday, Sunday, I can use one pair, throw them in the wash, have a fresh pair for the second day. And then I just went over some goggles. So these are some extra goggles I have some blue and white Scots. And again, this is all just dependent. If I'm wearing some blue gear, then I'll throw these into my goggle bag and have them in the rotation. Then I have these Scots, which I don't wear a ton because they don't match any of my stuff really well. Well, They're really pretty and I like them, but they don't really coordinate with anything I wear. So I don't wear these a ton. And then my buddy Big Cat Racing gave me these Spies. I think they're foundations. Um, they're really nice. They're really light, um, red, white, and blue, but since I do have sort of a connect with Scott when I wear red, white, and blue, I usually wear those ones, but I do have these ones as well. I actually should bust them out a little bit more. So just some more goggles. I showed you guys my black Atlas brace. I also have the Arctic camo one, I think is what it's called. But uh, you know, I just wear this one again if I wear the Moto Loco gear, or some of my red and white gear, just whatever makes sense with the, with the gear. I like to color coordinate it. And of course I have my Shoei VFX Evo. Um, really like this helmet. The Alpine Stars is a lot, a lot lighter, but I'll still switch back and forth and wear this one every once in a while. Has the Moto fin on it with uh, the little Chicken Man, Woody Woodpecker collaboration there that we did for my dad. So yeah, just a really nice helmet. I can switch back and forth with my Alpine Stars. Of course, the black Tech 10s, um, they're still, still dirty from last weekend, but they were starting to get pretty hagged out and chewed up. I don't know if you guys can really see, but it's all chunked out there for my pegs. And then the sides of them were starting starting to wear and stuff, but uh, got a lot of use out of these. Just move them so it's a little easier. And then here's my other limited edition Tech 10s that I said my new ones were sort of similar to, not too awfully much, but you can see sort of a resemblance. So again, these kind of just are gear dependent. The black ones go with anything, but these are more like 
I have to match them to the gear. But that's all the like side stuff. Let's move to the actual gear gear. Allison is going to hand me the gear and I'm just going to show you guys all the stuff we go through. So first set, uh, in no particular order, but this is some of my Moto Loco stuff, which you guys have seen a lot. This is one of the new jerseys, the black, red, and gray camo, of course, sub laminated on the back. I'm waiting until the final round of Winter Combat to bust that out. Next set, we have the same exact pants. Um, I just went a size up on them. So uh, I have a 36 and a 38, which was a little big for me. Um, like usually I wear a 36, but I'm trying the 38. The sizing is just a little different from the UK. But here is the other Moto Loco jersey, the other new one that I haven't worn yet. Really cool on that. Once again, the sublaminated back, but there you guys go. And then the Moto Loco jersey you guys have seen a ton of times the white, red, and uh, black, gray camo. So really like this one. I really like them all, but <laughs> there you guys go. So that's that's one. Next, we got the VDS Panda. So for my buddies, the same guys who do the inverted gloves. Uh, this is some really cool stuff, really unique, really interesting. Um, just something you, you never see at the track, so that's cool. Once again, it has the sublimination. I like how big this font is, but yeah, printed right into the material. So another really cool one. Next up, we have the fan favorite Alpine Stars. All red stuff, looks super clean. I got the print done by FAF um, Printing, the same guys who do my graphics. So they did me up a really cool design on there, but good old Alpine Star stuff. This is the fly stuff. I think it's some kinetic, but um, it goes with the pink gloves that I showed you guys. So uh, I really like this colorway and everything. Just uh, I'm not one that's huge on the flow stuff but just this little bit of it, just like my new Alpine Stars gear, I think is pretty cool. And obviously this is one I haven't gotten printed. Um, just haven't had the need to send it to Jeff. So I don't know if I ever will, but I do like that gear set and it's one of Allison's favorites. So I like to rock it for her. The black and pink Fox, my buddy Jay got me this a few years ago. Um, some really interesting stuff, Fox 180. It's, I don't know, even for it being black, the pink is just such a bright pink that it really stands out on the track. I had the really cool gold printing on the back, but it peeled off. So now it's just the outline of where the print used to be. Uh, I just haven't gotten it redone. Jeff said he would redo it for me, but uh, just haven't sent it that way. I haven't been racing a ton, so no need for it. But yeah, it used to have the gold shimmer on it and not anymore. This is one of my favorite ones. This is the ship stuff, like the Emig pant and jersey. So. The camo, which, whoops, you guys know I absolutely love that colorway or that pattern. And then the jersey, um, my buddy Carlos and FAF did a killer job on that. That just looks so clean. Like, it's just meant to be with the white and red there. So really, really cool print on that and with the Take Easy logo on there too. This is some shift stuff, which I have since worn, but this is the stuff I was wearing when I broke my wrist. Um, my mom got this stuff for me. She really liked the colorway, and she said, well, I sent her it. She said she really liked it, and she said she'd pay for it for me. So, got it. Um, I like this one a lot. I am a little bit nervous when I wear it just because of the wrist, but I've worn it since with no problem, so that's just something in my mind. But you can see it's a little beat up here on the front and from that crash, but and torn up here and stuff. But another really cool print from FAF. I love just how big they do the number and everything. Um, I know I have a long last name, so you can't do it too huge, but they do a good job of getting it all on there. And uh, let me just check. This is the black stuff. Yeah, these are both black label from Shift. Next up is some seven. Um, this is probably one of my most worn gear sets. I think just because, again, like, like I said, the red, white, and black is just some of my favorite colors and that's all this is. So super clean. Uh, I like this stuff a lot, wear it quite a bit. Um, again, with the FAF and nice white jersey print on there. The only one that's kind of a bummer with this, it doesn't look like it too much now, but the white and red, it starts to bleed through and it looks a little pink, but I guess it just depends on the lighting. Here is some Thor stuff. This is like top of the line Thor stuff. It literally feels like you're wearing pajamas. This stuff is so cozy, it's so light. Um, that also means that it tears pretty easily. Um, the knees and stuff you can see are blown out. Not blown out, but a little bit hurting on it. But it is really, really comfortable. Really nice. It's just an interesting design. And of course, FAF killed it again and put the little yellow FAF to match with the 
floral pattern, so that's a really cool one. All right, this is a throwback one. This is some No Fear back from when, I don't even know what year, but when all I had was the 125. Um, yeah, this crazy uh, No Fear. I had the helmet to match this as well, but this is one that I don't currently fit into. I would hope to someday maybe get back to it, but just some really unique stuff. Like this jersey is so thick compared to everything else. It's ventilated and cool, and this one's just even though this isn't like a 1980s jersey, it's still just so thick by comparison, but I still think that's a really cool gear set. I really like those colors, so I've been holding on to it. Um, the, the print I got done at the mall, <laughs> so it was before I knew about FAF, so it's, it's hurting a little bit. I wish I would have done something cooler, but um, I was just a kid when I got it done, so that's my only downside with it, but this stuff is really cool. I need to bust it out soon. Here's a set of Alias. Um, this is a pretty cool one because my buddy Logan gave it to me um, back when he was a little bit huskier. He, uh, he was going off to the army and he wasn't going to ride for a while so he sent this to me to wear and then he got in incredible shape so he wouldn't fit in it anymore. But this has always been one of my favorite Alias colorways and if you can't tell this thing is like primo. It looks like it's museum quality and I have worn it. Um, I know he wore it of course too. but. Never got it printed. It didn't feel right since this was Logan's gear, but um, it's just a really cool colorway, really out there. And of course, with Alias not making gear anymore, it's a kind of special. All right, here's another one that I definitely do not fit in anymore. This is the inverted stuff, the purple stuff you guys have probably seen in the past. And it has that original seven type thing where it has this compression jersey and then like a basketball type jersey over it that is sublaminated with the name and number. It is super sick, but with this being compression, um, it is a large, but it's really tight on me. So I need to get into better shape before I wear this one. I hope that someday I can because this is some super unique gear, really stands out on the track, but uh, right now it's, it's literally not the best fit for me. Some more Fox 180. This is the same exact um, line as the black and pink stuff. My buddy Big Cat Racing got me this, so that's why we have it with the Big Cat Racing logo. Um, some people call this my ketchup and mustard gear because it's the yellow and red, which I understand, but it is a pretty cool look. Um, definitely stands out out there, bright yellow, and of course the FAF and everything on it. So that's a pretty fun one. I like to bust that one out every once in a while and just be pretty bright out there. And of course the ketchup and mustard riding the red Honda too. This is a set of Fox. I assume this is 180, probably says on it, yep. Um, my buddy Big Cat gave me this one too, but he gave me this one because I don't remember if it was maybe too big for him, but currently it's too small for me. I don't remember what his issue was actually. I think it fit on him, but he didn't like the fit or something, but these are like 34s and the jersey is a medium, so it's real tight on me. Um, again, I kind of keep this as a goals. I would like to get back into it, but this one, super cool red, white, and blue design. And then when I gave it to Jeff at FAF, I said, do whatever you want. Just spell my last name right and get my number right. And he came up with this. So it just, it works with the rest of the jersey. Really unique print. I like that one a lot. Well, I like them all a lot, as you can tell, but there we go. Is this the last one? All right, this is my last one. So this is the TLD Honda stuff. Just uh, pretty simple, the navy, white, and red. TLD Honda, um, got some really cool printing on it. A lot of these you'll see the pros wear them and you're thinking like, oh, that gear is super sick. You get it yourself and it's kind of bland. But uh, my buddy Carlos went ahead and designed this one up for with FAF with a huge Take It Easy logo, FAF up here, and then the huge number print. Um, I wanted my name kind of done how the TLD pros, if you can think of like Cole Seeley, how his jersey would always look like this. So did it like that and another Take It Easy. So that is all my current gear, which is quite, a few sets um, it's always nice to have options and everything I guess but that's it guys so I don't think I need new gear for a while plus we have the new Alpine star stuff that I showed you earlier so that's gonna go ahead and conclude this I hope you enjoyed checking out what's in my gear bag I'm gonna have to put this all away now which I'm not looking forward to but yeah thank you guys so much for watching truly appreciate you leave a comment down below let me know I don't know what your favorite gear set is or Whatever. Just leave a comment about something. Hit that like button if you liked it. And as always, until next time, guys, take it easy. It's easy. Take it twice. Talk to you later. I almost forgot about this. With all this gear, it's no wonder that I won the Dapper Award.
what can I say?